My attack V build is still goaded after a recent update in Modern Warfare 2. And what's better about my attack V build is that it shoots orange anime tracers. Say hello to Tails the Fox and let's wreck noobs. Choked on race away. This is a pretty good class with attack V. As long as you control the recall of this guy. You have a lot of fun right now. I'm not trying to get distracted. I showed her how the uh, the bundle looks like. She said it sound it looks cute. Double. Triple. Oh man, that's a little quad feed right there. How are you doing, buddy? This motherfucker don't miss. They're probably all like calling me out or something. Sorry, buddies. You can't destroy me and my fox. No, he's fucking good. Call me Sonic. That motherfucker don't miss, man. And he's he's tails my companion, which is really. Really weird. Even though it's like a. Ooh, that's a little headshot. You like that? And there you go. Easy MGV on El Asilo. So, uh, what's up, guys? It's Ray here by Nino Quaji, and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Multiplayer Season 2. In today's video, we're going to be rocking and rolling with arguably the best battle rifle in Modern Warfare 2, the TAC V. And man, it's been a huge minute since we've covered this gun on the channel. There's a couple of reasons that we're using this gun today. The first reason is that, as you guys can see, we have a new blueprint for the TAC V, and this is actually a tracer blueprint known as the Volpus. You get this nice little tracer blueprint through the Tracer Pack Red Fox bundle, and this essentially gives it anime tracers, like orange anime tracers. It explodes like really cool, as you guys saw from the intro clips. And overall, the design of this gun is really freaking gnarly, and I love it. If you guys want to see a full bundle showcase, make sure you guys check it out on my second channel, More Hero. But here on this video in specific, I'm just going to be using the Tac V, giving you guys the best class setup, and absolutely shredding fools with it while giving you guys the information. Also, in case you guys are wondering why I'm rocking the Azul cam on it, it's because when I take it off, the stock just looks kind of ugly. And I just thought blue and orange look really good on this gun, especially because there is a fox on the blueprint. And when you put blue on it, it blue reminds me of Sonic and the fox reminds me of Tails the Fox. So I have the Sonic and Tails blueprint, which I think is kind of funny. But the main reason we're running the TAC V today is because it got changed a little bit with a recent update here in Modern Warfare 2 Season 2. As you guys can see from the patch notes, the TAC V got hit pretty hard, at least in terms of its description. Reduced near damage, reduced muzzle velocity, reduced far damage range, and reduced movement speed. And essentially, a lot of these aren't huge differences when it comes to the Tac V. Shout out to Exclusive Base for these following diagrams and you know images and stuff. He basically said that the near damage isn't a huge difference. You're still gonna get two shot kills slash three shot kills in semi-auto slash full auto mode. The muzzle velocity was only changed by like 50 milliseconds. The far damage range was changed very little by like a meter. In terms of movement speed though, the gun is going to move a lot slower and it will be the slowest moving battle rifle. But besides that, I mean, it's ADS speed is still good and other attributes of this movement is still good. For today's video, I wanted to prove that despite these nerfs, the Tac V is an absolutely freaking machine as you guys saw in the intro clips. With my new number one Tac V best class setup, you guys will be guaranteed the fastest time to kill possible for the Tac V, allowing you to body opponents in any situation, the lowest amount of recoil, so you can just shred opponents at far range and this thing just has a super fast time to kill with the setup and optimized tuning so you can enhance the capabilities of this TAC-V even further and kind of nullify the nerfs that it got. With my powerful TAC-V class setup, I was able to drop two MGBs in a couple of maps here on Model Warfare 2 multiplayer. Our first MGB happened on the good old map of Raceway. Raceway is a perfect map for this gun because it has some pretty long lines of sight and the TAC-V was able to completely take over in this freaking map and drop that easy MGV. In fact, I actually died one off the double, which I will show that streak uh, in within the gameplay so you guys can see just how much I choked, man. But in the end, we managed to clutch up the nuke and destroy our opponents. For our second MGV nuke gameplay, we got a nice little nuke on the map of El Asilo. And this map's pretty nice too because it's a medium sized map with some far range sights as well as some close quarters combat and the TAC V was able to overall just destroy and wreck fools. So if you guys are excited to see those two MGB nuke gameplays and you guys want to see the amazing anime orange fox tracers in this gameplay and see the new number one updated TAC V class setup so you guys can absolutely shred your opponents as well here in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer and surprise them with the fox fury. Make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, 
and turn on those post notifications. If you enjoy funny moments, entertaining gameplay, or best class setups, you've come to the right channel. I try to incorporate all those elements into my videos, and that sounds good to you, or revive my personality, then go ahead and subscribe if you want, man. I'm just honored that you even spent a little bit of your time here, and I just wanted to extend the offer if you wanted to watch some more videos. You're awesome. As always, though, shout out to the Nota Gang from the comment section below of my videos. You guys always come through every single day for the banger videos that I put out. And I just want to say for all the time that I put into my videos, you guys give that time back in watching the videos. And that's forever a blessing to me. Thank you for being the best supporters here on YouTube and on Twitch. If you guys want to see even more videos from me though, make sure you guys check me out on my second channel, More Hero, and my third channel, Hero No Commentary. On my More Hero channel, you guys will see Warzone 2 gameplay like Ashika Island, store bundles like the one I uploaded today, and other sorts of miscellaneous videos. And on my third channel, Hero No Commentary, you guys will see basically raw gameplay. Basically just gameplay of me just beats the not fools, no commentary, no face cam, no music, in a sense, COD ASMR. If you want to be up to date with all the videos that I post, make sure you guys are subscribed to all channels. Thank you in advance, by the way. And now with that short little intro out of the way, let's go ahead and show you guys the best class setup for the TAC-V here in Modern Warfare 2 Season 2 after the recent nerfs. Before getting to it, I just wanted to show you guys my updated P890 class setup because I know some people were asking. Anyways, we're running the Montezet Kata Map Barrel, 1MW Pistol Laser, Bruin MGD Trigger Action, 12 Rod Magazine, and the Akimbo P890 Rear Grip. Here's the tuning for the barrel, here's the tuning for the trigger action, and here's the tuning for the laser. I just wanted to show you guys this because some people were asking what the laser tunings are. They're usually pretty easy to find out, but hope you guys enjoyed this nice little bit of info. The Kimball P890s really do come in clutch as a nice secondary. You guys know the rest of my general class setup. So let's go ahead and give you guys the ultimate guns of attachments to allow the Tag V to two shot or three shot here in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. So for our first attachment, we got the muzzle of the Lockshot KT85, which is gonna give us a ton of vertical recoil control and horizontal recoil control. And this is such a freaking crazy good attachment for the tag v because it has a ton of vertical recoil and by minimizing that as much as possible with this attachment this gun will essentially feel pretty laser beam like for you in model for two multiplayer plus with better accuracy you'll be able to land your two shot headshots or your three shot time to kills overall and be able to eliminate your opponents in the blink of an eye it's actually incredible for our next attachment we got the fss ov laser which is going to give us ads speed aiming stability and sprint to fire speed and you guys know i love this laser with that sprint to fire speed you can bring up the attack v even faster and win more gunfights because of that but if you don't have this laser you could also rock the shalaja pq box 4 so that your laser doesn't pop up or anything like that or if you don't have the ov laser however i do recommend the ov laser over anything because that sprint to fire speed allows you to have a faster time to kill so if you're running anything else you're going to be kind of a slower time to kill machine and you want to be able to win as many gunfights as possible with this tack v so rock this it's pretty op for our underbarrel we actually have the edge 47 grip and this is going to give us aiming out stability and recoil stabilization and by combining this underbarrel with the muzzle that we discussed previously you're going to have the best sort of recoil control pattern as possible Obviously, instead of using this, you could use the FTAC RIP 56 as a demo clean shot 40, but the Edge 47 grip really gives you an edge, no pun intended, over the under over the other underbarrels because it has the best recoil pattern. So rock the Edge 47 grip for that maximum accuracy, and with the best accuracy possible, you're gonna have a faster time to kill theoretically. So definitely rock this. It's really freaking nice. For our magazine, we're rocking with the 30 round mag. You know, those 10 extra bullets do make a difference. Plus, you won't feel too slow as if you were running the 50 round drum mag. Though, if you can handle the 50 round drum mag and its sluggishness, then go ahead and rock it. I just think the 30 round mag allows you to still be fast enough in order to combat your opponents. And for our last attachment, we got the rear grip of the FSS combat grip, which is going to maximize our recoil control. And with this combined with the underbarrel and the muzzle, this thing will be very easy to control. Long range kills will be no problem for you. And this gun will give the TAC-56 a run for its money. With that amazing accuracy, you're going to have the fastest time to kill possible. So definitely rock the combat grip. You can't go wrong using it. And there you guys have it, the five best attachments for the TAC-V here in Model for 2 Season 2. However, you can make this class even better through the use of tuning. When it comes to tuning the Lockshot KT85 muzzle here, the left side is going to be recoil stabilization at 0.70 ounces weight, maximizing your recoil stabilization at this particular point. And with that max recoil stabilization, you'll be more accurate for longer range kills, which is going to be nice. Plus, at this particular point, you're not going to be losing that much ADS because, because you're at the optimal slider number. And keep in mind, with all these tunes, we have the optimal slider numbers, the optimal tune numbers, if you will, which is going to maximize the pro or the benefit that you're trying to get. And it's going to minimize the amount of the con that you lose, which is nice. Because in this case, the con is ADS speed, and we're going to lose the least amount of ADS speed, which allows us to be more snappy with the TAC-V, which is awesome. 
For the bottom slider, we got gun kick control at 0.23 inches length, maximizing that control so that this gun can be more accurate across range. Plus, we don't lose that much aiming out stability either, making long range kills even easier. When it comes to tuning the FSS OV laser, the left side is going to be sprint to fire speed at negative 0.18 ounces weight, maximizing your sprint to fire speed so you can bring up the gun faster and have a faster time to kill. Plus, you don't lose that much aim walking steadiness either. And the bottom slider is going to be ADS speed at negative 34.55 feet zeroing distance allowing you to be more snappy with the aim of this gun, and you won't lose that much aiming out stability. When it comes to tuning the Edge 47 grip underbarrel, left side is going to be recoil stabilization at 0.36 ounces weight, allowing this gun to be more accurate, plus you don't lose that much ADS speed, and the bottom side is going to be aiming out stability at 0.31 inches length, allowing this gun to have less sway and be more accurate across range, plus you don't lose that much aim walking speed. And finally, when it comes to tuning the Ephesus Combat Grip rear grip, left side is going to be ADS speed at negative 0.65 ounces weight, making this gun snappy, and the bottom side is going to be strength to fire speed at negative 0.33 inches width, giving you that faster time to kill because you're able to bring up the gun faster. Plus, you don't lose recoil steadiness that much or aiming aisle stability. And these are the absolutely best tunes for the Tag V here in Model for 2 multiplayer for these particular attachments. If you can't get to the precise numbers, just get close enough between like one or two or three off, more or less, and you still basically receive maximum benefits. And there you guys have it, the five best attachments and the best tunes for the Tag V here in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. I love this gun. I, it's been a minute since I used it just because I do prefer the Tag 56, but man, it feels so great to use this gun because it's just full of power. It's, just, it's a little bit slower than the Tag 56, and I don't like being slow in multiplayer. But if you don't mind the slowness of this gun, you are going to be melting anybody in your way as long as you can control the gun. And with these tunes and these attachments, it shouldn't be that big of a problem. So yeah, let's go ahead and show you guys the Fox Anime Tracer freaking gunfights that I had and the beautiful, amazing MGBs. Before showing the gameplay, I just want to say thank you guys for being the best supporters, as always. It's always fun to make videos every day, and I hope you guys can feel that energy for me. And it's always just awesome to read your comments because everything just keeps me going. And just thank you guys for being awesome. That's enough of me complimenting you guys, though. You guys know what to do. Make sure you guys grab a snack, sit back, and let's enjoy some Tac V destruction. Would you guys want me to use any other guns? Let me know in the comment section below. And keep being big ballers. Enjoy. Get rid of the sentry gun. How you doing, buddy? If I all like calling me out in or something. Sorry, buddies. Y'all can't destroy me and my fox. Call me Sonic. Cause this is Tails my companion. Yes, sir. And the beams with this gun right now. Incredible. Keep in mind this is a battle rifle, bro. Like and it's not even the uh the whatchamacallit. Oh my goodness, I thought I was gonna die right here. I, I was playing Warzone. Uh, like yesterday, so had the wrong setting on. I always change my setting between Warzone and multiplayer. We're good now, though. Let's call this advanced UAV. Make some plays. We should be able to get this uh, this nuke, though. We got the uh, the good class here. Get that tracer power. Yes, sir. Y'all really thought you were gonna get me, huh? Good try, buddy. This Tag V? It's even better than the Tag 56, so. Shouldn't be messing with me. Especially with my class. Still has a bit of recoil, but it's manageable enough to where you can get some really nice kills at range. So as long as you find yourself a uh, good recoil control. And you can handle the uh, the tracer effect. It's a pretty nice freaking gun. Okay, we're five off five kills off this nuke. Big baller status. Easy money right here. Yeah. I did not expect that freaking Fennec dude, like right here. Of course, bro. Like, I should have been freaking slower there, bro. Oh, my God. That's what the kids call epic fail. Literally. It's insane. I gotta be carrying these teammates hard. 
Okay, we good now? It's all good. Go ahead and push up a bit. All those freaking... Where the hell are you? This dude really snuck by. They got him? Get off of me, bro. Got the ultimate head glitch killer here. I think there's one dude still alive over there. Okay, somebody got a VTOL. We need somebody to actually play objective, though. There you go. Okay, we got another advance. Let's see what we can do here. Hits the middle one. We can clutch out this nuke if we uh, we don't play stupid right now. Easy cash. Easy freaking money right here. Oh, is this a dude in the middle? I completely forgot about him. Come on, WWs. Stop playing slow. I'm sorry, if you, if you play slow, like, that's just gonna hurt you in the end. Like, you could be so much better. If you didn't play slow. Trust me, you want to play quick on this game. You're gonna improve your reaction time. The way you play the game. This is how you play. Like, straight up. Let me get this dude real quick. Easy money, bro. We got these animated tracers. Animate tracers. I feel powerful using them. Okay, we got a UAV. Should be able to get this W. Do you really have my back, though? I think he's pushing. Okay, I don't know where he's pushing. Just give me enough for my new police game. Okay, they're just like flanking around or something. I think there's a dude on my right, but I'm gonna uh, ignore him. But somebody got to get on that point. This point, I don't care who, cause it's somebody. Thank you. Okay, we get this nuke. Sucks that I really choked the first nuke, because this first gameplay could have been a double MGB, but I'll probably leave the first streak in there, because we wouldn't actually really have. But let me know how you guys like these tracers for the Attack V. Do you guys like the Attack V in general? It did get nerfed as of an update yesterday. But honestly, it still feels pretty good in multiplayer. It might feel slightly worse to some people. To me personally, I mean... I'm still rocking with it, still liking it. And we're still destroying, so... I'm chilling. Personally. I know they're gonna be like right here somewhere. With this gun, we really don't be losing. Dude back here. Okay then. Yeah, I gotta move. I don't call on this nuke too late. Hey, a little 40 guns for you game too bad. Oh, okay, they're on it. Beautiful. Let's just call it in, because they're probably gonna, like, get off the point on purpose, so. Nice little MGB with the TAC-V. Double nuke fail, but we held it down with Tails the Fox here <laughs> with my Sonic camo. This is the Sonic and Tails camo right here. That's the way I call it. You know what you guys think about the tracers? And are you copping this? Definitely use this class though. Freaking bang in class. Legit freaking so clean, bro. But uh, yeah, big baller status, man. I love myself some animated tracers. They gotta bring more tracers out like this, because I love I love these orange type of tracers that pop out a little bit. It's pretty clean looking. Kinda wish there was multiple guns in this tracer bundle though. That's at 104 kills and seven deaths on raceway. I will take that.
Big baller status. Yes, sir. Let's get a, another MGB or two for this gun. He ain't all that popular, in my opinion. The way I see it, anyways. Oh, they're all over the fucking point, and teammates are doing nothing to stop them. Yeah, got it. Okay. This is like hiding or something. Do you like just back here? What were you doing, homie? Anyways, keep him moving. Hope in the future they do a bunch of tracers, because this is like 50 plus guns in this game. Plus we got DLC weapons coming and stuff. It'd be nice to have like a tracer for like every gun or something. I know some guns in Mod for 2019 didn't end up getting tracers, like the Uzi. Uzi never got a tracer, which was really, really weird. Even though it's like a... Ooh, that's a little headshot. You like that? Easy freaking money, bro. I'm telling you, you, aim for the head with this gun, you're getting like two shot kills, bro. It's beautiful. Oh, they're all over this point. Yeah, I like the look of this. Let's actually call the helicopter here. Might help us. Oh, of course, nobody's on the point. Somebody, somebody's got to stop him, right? Okay, we stopped him. Beautiful. It might be coming from below. Which they are. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I let him live. I'm legit choking my shots right now, I'm sorry. Body. <laughs> Body. Okay. Where did he do that? Bro, this gun is just so nice at what it does, bro. Only reason I don't use this gun is, like I said, it's not really that popular, but it's definitely not a not a terrible gun. Like if you if you can like use this gun, get used to the recoil. It's better than the Tac 56. It's a really hard hitting gun, as you guys can see. Legit just destroying these dudes like crazy. Body. Okay, we did like two kills off here. Okay. Crap, I'm choking my shots. Come on, buddy. He's not moving. He moved this way. There you go. Easy MGV on El Asilo. Instead of Raceway Nuke, El Asilo. Freaking big baller status, bro. Like, but this freaking fox on here, bro. This is the Sonic and Tails blueprint right here, bro. Legitimately, <laughs> freaking blue camo. Freaking fox on there. I don't know if you guys ever played a Sonic game. I I love Sonic, bro. Before I got into Call of Duty, I was actually into like Sonic the Hedgehog and like all the games that uh he came out with, especially as a kid. Sonic became kind of like meh after some time, though. But recently with Sonic Frontiers, I've heard really good things about it. It'd be cool to like play that game. Just to see if it uh if it compares real well to like the golden days of Sonic and stuff. I love Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, Sonic Adventure DX. There's a lot of Sonic games that I really loved. Let me know if you ever played a, a Sonic game before, because the older ones are definitely really nice. And I guess Frontiers as well. It's like a newer game. Little baller man. Yeah, here, buddy. Get off of me. There's somebody with ghosts around here. No, there's somebody still back there. Go ahead, go back, put on our ammo real quick. 
It's like right here next to me. Probably should have switched to semi here. Let me switch to semi real quick. Yeah, bro. You remember, for long range, you can actually rock this semi. Go back. They're lucky I don't have any ammo right now. Now I do. Okay, we got an advanced UAV. We might not be able to get the double though, because it is a little bit too little, too late kind of vibe, but... At least we'll, we put up a good fight though. Sorry, buddy. We're on a 15, too. Damn. Dude, I actually feel pretty, pretty bad. I kind of want to let the enemies grab this one. I hope they can, but... Really doubting it. Yeah, because it looks like teammates are just not going to let this slide. That's going to be you, teammate. That's going to be all you. I'm running away. If I could let them have it, that'd be beautiful, but we'll see if uh, they can break this. Nah, but our teammates got it down. Yeah, okay. Well, do another double nuke choke. It is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this freaking Tac V, man. Thing actually does melt. It has some crazy freaking tracers. And is uh, is definitely a cop for the uniqueness of this blueprint. It's a Sonic and Tails blueprint, bro. I need to see Call of Duty still collab with Sonic for the one time, bro. Personally, the next little MGB, big baller status. You guys already know we're freaking out here. Uh, try out this freaking collab setup for yourselves. Let me know what you guys think about the Tac V after the nerf. Um, and are you gonna regularly run it now with this freaking class setup slash blueprint? That's little 78 and 6. Destroying my opponents. And continuing to destroy. I freaking love you all. And keep being big ballers. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to see these gameplays live, make sure you guys go ahead and follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash hero. I interact with the chat and we have a good old time roasting ragers and nuking fools. Also, if you guys want to see even more videos from me, check me out on my second channel, More Hero. On that channel, you guys will see Warzone 2 gameplay, store bundles, and other miscellaneous videos that aren't here on the main channel. Also subscribe to my third channel, Hero No Commentary, where you can see raw Call of Duty gameplay from me with no face cam, no commentary, or anything like that. Just some chill COD ASMR. I really love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for being a beautiful audience. And without further ado, I hope you guys have a good fucking day. Stay awesome and keep being big ballers. I love you all. Shout out to the channel members as well. You're incredible.